Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to present this case of a patient who developed a Z syndrome using the crystal lens where the haptic on the right was posteriorly displaced and the haptic on the left was anteriorly displaced, resulting in the Z configuration. We filled the eye with lidocaine and Helon GV and here we're placing Helon GV posterior to the lens to elevate it and to separate the capsular bag leaflets. We then use MST IOL graspers and we're able to visualize the haptics of the crystal lens on one side and uh, liberate it from any fibrous adhesions that had formed on each side. The haptics on the left have a bit more fibrosis, but we're able to gently free each haptic from a band of fibrous tissue. We leave the crystallines in the capsular bag and then perform irrigation and aspiration and rotate the lens. We then fill the eye with Heline GV and then insert a capsular tension ring. The purpose of the ring is to place expansive forces on the equator of the bag and hopefully to prevent the Z syndrome from reoccurring as the eye heals after the IOL is repositioned. We then remove the viscoelastic with irrigation and aspiration, fill the eye with balanced salt solution, and determine if the crystalline's optic will lay flat. In this orientation, we find that the inferior haptic is more posterior than the superior haptic. Therefore, we elect to rotate the lens an additional 90 degrees, making sure that the haptics of the crystal lens are not ensnared in the capsular tension ring. We then refill the eye with balanced salt solution and test to see if the Z syndrome is resolved with the crystal lens in this orientation in this configuration, the rightmost haptic is anterior and the leftmost haptic is still posterior. We try yet again and insert the irrigation and aspiration instrument to place the crystallines in a position that it has not yet been placed. Reinflate the eye. And in this configuration, we see that the optic of the crystal lens is planar. Both haptics are flat and pointing toward the macula, which is the correct orientation of the crystal lens. We confirmed that we have a watertight closure, and this patient did quite well and regained uncorrected 2020 vision by the following day. Thank you for your time and attention.